Mevo Taz. We are back with a new one. Starfield. I picked this up on PC. I don't have an Xbox. I also paid full price so I could get early access. Uh, 130 bucks, I think it was. No sponsoring, nothing like that for me. Uh, I'm a small YouTuber that's just trying to get ahead, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah, paid full price. I'm looking forward to this. I know the reviews came in. Um, they're ranging anywhere from 6 out of 10 to 10 out of 10. So um, I don't look at reviews myself when I you know, pick up games. I look, like to make my own decision. But anyway, let's, uh, let's jump into this. I already loaded up the game and played with my settings. Got that all set up. This is the first launch. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now work in the Star Dock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Alright, so I am playing this on PC as I mentioned. I have a 4090, so I'm playing this on okay. Ultra Settings. What we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Always. We know what you think uh, in terms of how it looks. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. I am playing at one it bouncing between one twenty to one sixty five frames per second. I have a hundred and sixty five hertz monitor. So it caps it at that because it's using V-Sync by default. But um if I need to I can always cap it at sixty frames per second. Um, which is what my recording software is capturing this at. So hopefully it looks okay. Okay then, let's call this one tapped. 
Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. All right, I put my flashlight on, holding like the left upper button, I guess. I don't really know what the buttons are called on the Xbox controller. I don't really use an Xbox controller that much. Um, and I wish I could change the button layout to represent PlayStation buttons, because I know them through muscle memory. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. The reticle wants to go upwards when you're holding this down. My default is just going up. I'm using an Xbox controller. Good. I should um, play keyboard and mouse. I do prefer first person shooters with keyboard and mouse. Pressing Y for the jump is a bit awkward. I'm gonna get confused with that. I am playing uh, Diablo 4, which is keyboard and mouse, so that's not a big deal. But I'm playing uh, Elden Ring at the same time. getting flashbacks of that movie have you ever seen a rain of fire with uh, christian bale where he where they're digging into like a small area in in england where uh, they're making like an underground tunnel or something and they said the kid in there to uh we're getting close i think take a look Okay, we're going up here. Left button is up left. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Anyway, by the time I get, you know, my videos uploaded, um, especially in 4K, uh, there's going to be a lot of videos up and out already, so I appreciate any support that you guys can give. A lot of popular or bigger streamers got early review copies, and I got this after paying full price. Well, five days early, but still, uh, I paid for that. Anyway, that's not A. Physical damage, mentally the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Character creator, and I don't know if I did this or not, but if you like the content, please 
like, comment, but more importantly, hit that subscribe button. As I mentioned, I don't get anything from YouTube uh, for, for my videos, for my content, until I hit my thresholds, which is 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours, which, I don't know, seems kind of unreachable for me. Let's see if we can get there. Anyway, um, let me create a character, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, we've got our characters created, and I am going to slow down and pause on each of these. Uh, we got Beast Hunter with Fitness, Ballistics, Gastronomy, Bouncer, Boxing, Security, Fitness. Bounty Hunter with Piloting, Targeting Control Systems, Boost Pack Training. Gast Gastronomy, Dueling, Scavenging, Combat Medic, Pistol Certification, Medicine, Wellness. Cyber Runner, Stealth, Security, Theft. Cyberneticist, Medicine, Security, Lasers, Diplomat, Persuasion, Commerce, Wellness, Explorer, Lasers, Astrodynamics, Surveying, Gangster, Shotgun Certification, Boxing, Theft, Homesteader, Technology, Surveying, Weightlifting, Industrialist, Persuasion, Security, Research Man. Long hauler, weightlifting, piloting, ballistic weapons, pilgrim, engineering, surveying, astronomy, professor, astrodynamic, geology, research methods, Ronin, dueling, stealth, scavenging, sculptor, medicine, geology, persuasion, soldier. Oh, did I say soldier twice? Sculptor, soldier, uh, fitness, ballistics, boost pack train, scoundrel, crystal certification, piloting, persuasion, xenobiologist, lasers, surveying, fitness, file not found, wellness, ballistics, piloting. More than welcome to pause on each of those and read the uh, the paragraph at the top. I did read through them. Um, I'm not really sure which one I want to go with. I was thinking... A scoundrel sounds kind of cool. I was also thinking long hauler. Uh, typically I would go cyber runner or ronin. I don't really care for too much for the, the close combat. Cyber runner might be good. Stealth, security... Theft. Don't know how well stealth is. In a lot of the um, Fallout games and um, Skyrim and and things like that, uh, stealth was never really very good. This is silence weapon. I wonder if we can get like silence weapon. You know what? I'm gonna go with cyber runner. Hey, okay. we got trait. All right. Alien DNA. You volunteer for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, healing, but healing and food items aren't as effective. Dream home. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage with Galbank. It has to be paid weekly. Empath. Deeply connected the feelings of others forming actions companion likes will result in temporary increase in combat effectiveness but performing actions they don't like will have vice opposite extrovert you're a people person asserting yourself there's less oxygen when adventuring with human companions but when adventuring alone more when adventuring can't be combined with introvert Freestar Collective Settler. Gain access to special Freestar Collective dialogue options. Better rewards from some missions given by the faction. Prime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Can't be combined with any other faction allegiance trait. Okay, it's a faction thing. Hero Worship. You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. Plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. Introvert. 
really need your alone time. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other human companions. Kid stuff, your parents are alive and well, and visit them at their home. But you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. Ah, interesting. Neon Street Rat. Grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards from some missions on Neon. Prime bounty other factions is greatly increased. You can't combine it with any other faction allegiance trait. Raised Enlightened. Grew up as a member of the Enlightened. You gain access to special chests full of items in the House of Enlightened, New Atlantis. But lose access to the Sanctum Universum chest. I don't even know what half of these things are. Raised Universal. You grew up as a member of Sanctum Universum. You gain access to a special chest full of items. You can't access the other one. Serpent's Embrace. You grew up worshipping worshiping Great Serpent. Brav Jumping provides a temporary boost. Health and Oxygen. But health and Oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly. Like an addiction. Can't be combined. Space. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased when on the surface. Taskmaster. Occasionally, you have crew trained in a certain ship system. That system will automatically repair itself to full whenever it's damaged below 50%. However, all crew cost is twice as much to hire. Terra firma. Never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decreased when you're in space. United Colonies Native. In access to special United Colonies dialogue options and better rewards for some missions given by faction. Again, it's specific to that faction. Wanted. Someone put a price on you. Word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you. But being cornered gives you an edge. Health is low, you do extra damage. Alright, let me figure out which ones I want to do. Um, I feel like I want to do Dream Home. Hero Worship sounds cool. Gives us free stuff. Sounds a bit annoying, because be annoying fan, but... Um... I don't want to do wanted. I'd be good. I mean, getting randomly attacked. I don't really want my life to be low. Do extra damage. That doesn't seem useful. Now, this is a single person game, but you do have companions that seem. How do I know what they'll like and what they won't like? This seems like it would be less impactful. But we lose credits. We're already in debt with the home. All right, we're going to do kid stuff. Okay, we will go with my other online thing. You were one of the weirdest hires I've ever had. From hacking computers to digging for minerals, you're lucky our turnover rate is so high. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? That was just light and music. Incredible. Everything is blank. 
Where's that thing? Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else? Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Damn, nice third person. You can even go further back. Constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got? Not to them, apparently. Great. Um... Of course, we can steal everything like usual, but it's gonna. Whoa! You don't look good. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Fill up my space and stuff. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? Supervisor's log supplemental. Still day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Restart collective claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. You already have a cutter. Everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything All I right, know. Dusty. And this is another one of Barrett's on? special orders. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. I'm not so sure. I don't know how to make a stop to me anymore. Giving me the wheelies. I think we're going to find something. I just have no idea what it could be or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellations. Like the helmets category. Dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing. And the ore itself. Where's the ca my helmet category? In five days, when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. Got a deep mining spacesuit, tunnel mining helmets. There we go. I like the idea behind the third person, but this just feels like a first person game. Wow, the frames are dropping less than 100 now. YouTube always caps everything at. You all right? Some here. Got 60 maximum. Let's have a look.
<laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new girl found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazan. And no, Barrett. Not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Spirit, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Feel his stuff. How can I tell who's the enemy? What's he doing on the floor? Okay, health is low, use the med pack using down, then a I'm hitting the wrong buttons to loot. Alright. Getting used to the controls. I'm still in uh, Elden Ring mode. Okay, we got five med packs healed up already. Of course, Barrett was being followed. Every well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Hey, um... I wasn't gonna bring it up, but we 
don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco! Get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now. Questions? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. And Vasco, don't let her break my ship. <laughs> All right, we got some oxygen CO2 thing down the Alright, sorry for the pause. I was looking through my inventory and we found a new weapon. I guess it was on one of those enemies. Um, it's called the Maelstrom. Right here, this is what we're using. All physical damage, but it's probably fast. Uh, fire rate, 40 magazine, 157 rounds. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll stop that because we've already heard that. Okay, we got to keep the, the resources. I mean, I wonder if we can mark anything junk so we can sell it. Get going here. Take off on Vectera. Salami, where did they get salami from? I mean, I could pick stuff up. I don't want to pick everything up and then find that my bags are maxed out. You know what I mean? Um, I'm still... Figuring things out here. I'd like to pick up expensive stuff. But I don't even know what to sell yet. We'll wait on that. This would be sick in like VR, wearing a VR headset. I 
Again, another thing I don't have. I just, I can, 800 bucks, 900 after taxes and such, just way too much. The one thing I heard was, or I read, Use left, right, like ship system, up and down to allocate power. You can skip this tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grab drive. Okay. I see what it's doing. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. So even though we're 300 whatever our speed is The planet's still here Shield is already maxed Targeted. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can walk in to fire a homing missile. You've already lost! The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. I did. Yeah, so even though we're traveling at speeds and stuff. We're still in the same spot. Eight to cycle between targets. Let's end 
Where the Wow, you can do that in third person as well. Yay. Travel between the stars, zoom out, see the entire system, zoom out again. See all the stars in the settled systems. Of well, course, by selecting the star system you want to travel to, you can only jump so many light years at once. All right, let me zoom out. Uh, um, how do we zoom out? That's just doing the scan. There we go. Press B. Gameplay feels pretty smooth. It doesn't feel on the same level as Let's say a destiny to in orbit. The abandoned facility with our crimson fleet captain is on the surface. Okay, gotta go here. Alright, you know what? We're going to check out more of this game in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh. Now we'll catch you then. It doesn't even tell us where we need to go, does it? There we go. We need to go in this direction. Try this gun. All right, yeah, we're gonna stop right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Yeah, I guess we can mine some stuff. I don't want to waste all my ammo. Okay, I'm already wasting it. Yeah. All right, catch you later.